So in this talk, I'm going to consider the first derivative test. We already have here the combined sign version of the first derivative test, which is basically the full statement of the test. But now I'll say it in sort of a short form, which is how people typically sort of remember it. Okay, and and that's as follows. So, I, so I'm not going to write the assumptions again, but f is continuous at a point c, and it's uh, differentiable on the left and right of c. Okay, so the first one says, if the derivative changes sign from positive on the left to negative on the right. Okay, that means we are in the first case here. Then you have a strict what? Local maximum. Strict local maximum. two-sided strict local maximum at C. Okay, uh, what happens if it changes sign from negative on the left to positive on the right? Then what do we have? Negative on the left to positive on the right means? Strict local maximum minimum. Strict local minimum. Okay, what happens if I just say F prime changes sign about the point? Well, Depending on how it changes sign, it's maximum. But you can say from this, if it changes sign, you do have a strict local extrema of some kind, right? Depending on how the sign changes. And if it doesn't change sign, that means it's one of these cases. What can you say? It's a, well, it's neither a strict local maximum or a strict local. So it's not a strict local extrema. So, I say this every time, but let me say it once again. So, what what does what is the information in here about f prime of c? Do we are we given any information about f prime of c? No. F prime at the point? No. We don't know anything about it. We don't know if it's positive, negative, zero, or doesn't take us. Though, if you if you are in these cases where f prime changes sign on the from the left to the right, it has to be a critical point. So, it turns out the derivative has to be zero or doesn't exist. But that's not part of the what what we are. Uh, what we are given. So, what what sort of a quick sort of way of saying it without invoking any algebraic letters? If the derivative changes sign from positive to negative, positive on the left and negative on the right, you have strict local max. Negative to positive, negative to positive, strict local min. If it changes sign, you do have a strict local extremum depending on the nature of the sign change. And if it doesn't change sign, you don't have a strict local extremum. Okay.